gig gig get down. Two five six is a joke in your town. Domaine de Servant, Cote de Rhone, 2007, out of the Rhone in France. Personally, I thought that 2007 vintage was really, really interesting out of France. The white, amazing. 2008, also, I love the French white. 2007, very interesting. Um, I think you got a lot of nice uh, uh, fruit. It was, it was a sort of warm season. And then a little bit, just enough rain to kind of, kind of make things a, a, a classic classic French vintage. Um, let's get this in here. Maybe not one of the best vintages of all time, but a really nice classic vintage. Um, Cote de Rhone. Here, check this out. Very, very cool bottle. Buckle up. You know, we're traveling everywhere here with these, uh, with these, uh, with these wines here. We're going all around the world. You never know where we're going to end up here on a taste along with me, Adam, the wine guy. Um, Cote de Rhone's generally blends of Syrah, Grenache, even a little touch of Cinso. Um, Syrah and Grenache tend to be the predominant components in that. Grenache to me adds this sort of rugged kind of quality, and Syrah gives it sort of this rich, smoky Cinso. First up, a little bit of fruit occasionally. Now what we have in this glass, we're looking at body-wise, sort of a uh, medium body. Um, beautiful color. It has sort of this, this, uh, this garnet tone. It is just lovely. Nothing floating around in there. The color, outstanding. Outstanding color. Uh, let's rock this wine around in the glass and see what we get on the nose of this baby. Of course, the steps that we follow every single one. When you watch these video blogs, you notice we look at the wine, we smell the wine, then we taste the wine. You never want to taste something that didn't smell good, and you sure probably don't want to smell something that didn't look good. Although we probably all not followed that order before, that's for sure. So let's check out the nose of this. I'm getting really, again, the, the, the berries that are coming through on this, the raspberries. I'm even getting like a touch of dusty blueberry that sometimes I find in like a Cap Franc, which is real interesting. And then hints of sort of saddle leather and tobacco kind of round this one out. Um, you know, I, I'd like to waste no more time here if it's cool with all of you people and get right down to the time. It's the best part of this whole webisode anyway. It's monkey time. That's good. A little bit of smokiness. Sort of this lean, lighter style wine. You know, the color kind of, you know, medium body falls right on par with where this falls uh, mouthfeel wise and body wise. French wines as well, they keep the alcohol low, which really does make for a nice experience with a bottle of wine. You can have more than one glass and you're not going to be hammered. This is great with food. I think this and some lamb would be amazing. A little bit of lamb would be beautiful. Um, how can you go wrong? Lovely Cote d'Aron, Domaine de Sevran. Today, we made it up to number 256. Uh, Domaine de Sevran. Cote de Rhone, the 2007 vintage, out of the Rhone in France. And you know when you're looking for a new episode, taste along, video, blog, you call it what you will. But make sure you check out AdamTheWineGuy.com.